Level medical support is provided by the units of the Core Medical Command, which is structured to provide third line medical support throughout the Corps, second line support to Corps troops, and first line medical support to Corps units lacking self sufficiency. It is also capable of augmenting Division's second line medical organizations. The Corps Medical Command includes a coordinating headquarters with its assigned signal squadron, a number of Corps medical groups, and a medical support battalion. It is normally supported at Corps level by medical laundry, bath, and decontamination companies and air ambulance squadrons as may be available. Core medical groups are geographically deployed. Those located in the core forward administrative area are concerned primarily with evacuation, initial surgery, and short-term hospitalization of patients generated from within the division areas. The groups located in the core rear administrative area provide surgery for less urgent cases, backup support to the forward groups, and medical support to the troops in the core rear area. Forward and rear core medical groups normally include the following units. A headquarters and its associated signal troop which provides for the staff communications needs of the group. Three field hospitals forward, four in the rear two forward surgical hospitals, three field medical companies forward, five in the rear, an ambulance transport company, and a forward medical replenishment unit with the forward group. The field hospitals function as the major surgical medical facility in the combat zone. They are allocated on the basis of four to the Corps and three to each division. A field hospital can operate independently or as a 500-bed unit within the confines of a core medical center in conjunction with other hospitals. A field hospital can deploy a surgical intensive subunit to meet a specific requirement. The hospitals provide resuscitation, preliminary surgery, and short-term care. They prepare patients for further evacuation, assist stress reaction patients, and provide first-line medical support to local units. Outside assistance is required for handling and transport of certain heavy and bulky items of equipment when the entire entity must deploy. The forward surgical hospitals are allocated on the basis of two per division and one per independent brigade group. The forward surgical hospital provides resuscitation and life-saving emergency surgery, short-term intensive post-operative care, and general emergency medical services. The hospital operates independently of the supported formation and is sited close to main evacuation routes. The field medical companies are allocated on the basis of one per 10,000 troops within the Corps and one for each division. They may be employed as a Corps or Division Medical Station, as a patient staging facility, as a short-term holding facility, as a sorting facility for a field hospital, Take a blood pressure on him. You're feeling no as a center for the treatment of special types of patients, as a PW camp facility, as a patient decontamination center, or as a medical station for a rear area group of units or installations. 
The company provides an austere treatment facility and it is capable of providing accommodation for up to 100 patients. Okay, let's get the next one in. The ambulance transport companies are allocated on the basis of one per division and one per corps troops. They provide for the transport of patients and sustaining care while en route to rearward medical facilities. And they assist the forward movement of medical material and personnel. The forward medical replenishment units are allocated on the basis of one per division and are assigned to the forward core medical groups. They issue medical material to units in the combat zone and carry out limited second line repairs to medical equipment. The laundry, bath and decontamination companies are allocated on the basis of one per core medical group. In addition to their normal functions, they specialize in medical laundry techniques and provide decontamination support to groupings of medical units. An air ambulance squadron is allocated in support of each division. It provides for the aeromedical evacuation of patients, airlift of critically required medical supplies, the emergency movement of medical personnel, equipment, and supplies, and for the recovery of casualties from downed aircraft. The Corps Medical Support Battalion is made up of a number of technically independent elements which provide specialist medical support, including a medical material and maintenance unit, a field laboratory, a preventive medicine unit, and medical specialist teams. The coordination and control of these elements is provided by the battalion headquarters and its services company provides for their first line support. The medical material and maintenance unit provides medical supplies and equipment to the forward medical replenishment units and to other medical facilities within the combat zone. It also carries out repairs and maintenance on medical equipment and material. The field laboratory provides a full range of specialized diagnostic and research laboratory services, including water analysis, food tests and epidemiological investigations. In addition, it establishes a central blood bank and distribution facility in support of the blood management program. The Preventive Medicine Unit provides advice and assistance in the construction and maintenance of field appliances. It also conducts inspections and surveys, instructs in hygiene, in environmental health matters, and helps with pest control. Medical specialist teams augment units or installations which require additional personnel with specialized training and experience. These teams are not usually employed in providing routine services. Normally attached to a hospitalization facility, they may be assigned to a field medical company to form a special treatment center. In this case, administrative support from a host unit or installation is required. The siting of medical installations requires they normally be placed far enough to the rear to be relatively secure, technically accessible, and somewhat trauma-free. Yet at the same time, far enough forward to provide an acceptable time lag, usually six hours, between wounding and initial surgery. The forward deployment of hospitals presents problems of mobility, protection, and concealment, especially when the hospitals are active and crowded with patients. Facilities supporting a division are normally sited from 30 to 50 kilometers behind the forward edge of the battle area, 
with the forward surgical hospitals near the division administrative area and the field hospitals deployed individually in depth along the division's main evacuation routes. In the rear area, facilities are grouped, whenever possible, into medical centers, which comprise two or more field hospitals with the appropriate medical support elements. In specific situations when it is anticipated that the wounded will not reach a hospital within an acceptable time frame, surgical teams from field hospitals may be deployed forward to a brigade medical station or to a field medical company where they form an advanced surgical center. The tactical employment of the core medical resources cannot be dealt with in isolation from other aspects of medical support. Patient management, deployment procedures, and the siting of medical facilities must be considered concurrently with and as an integral part of the allocation and deployment of medical units in the combat zone. <laughs> 